हेलो माय नेम इज डॉक्टर आनंद सिन्हा आई एम अ पीडियाट्रिक सर्जन एंड पीडियाट्रिक यूरोलॉजिस्ट एट फोर्टिस मेमोरियल रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट गुड़गांव एंड आई टेक केयर ऑफ ऑल द यूरोलॉजिकल नीड्स ऑफ चिल्ड्रन फ्रॉम द एज ऑफ फर्स्ट डे ऑफ लाइफ टू एटीन ईयर्स ऑफ लाइफ आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ कंडीशन विच इज सीन वेरी कॉमनली इन विच द यूरिन दैट कम्स फ्रॉम द किडनी इन द ब्लैडर नॉर्मली शुड नॉट गो बैक टूवर्ड्स द किडनीज बट इन सम चिल्ड्रन देयर आर वॉल्वस विच which are normally present to avoid this but they are weak in some children and the urine from the bladder can go back towards the kidney <clears throat> this condition is called as a vesicouretic reflux it is fairly common disease fortunately a lot of children can get resolved with age without any treatment <clears throat> sorry but some children do require a surgery to reconstruct these valves now these are extremely critical surgeries because you need to do them at a proper time to avoid any damage to the kidneys if you leave them like that and the this reflux is not improving they can damage the kidneys permanently you can then require kidney transplant also and we want to avoid that at all costs so for such children we have to create a valve from the patient's own bladder we can do this again in three ways an open surgery or a laparoscopic surgery or a robotic surgeries there are various approaches where we can go through the retroperitoneum that means from behind the bladder or we can go through the bladder which is called as vesicoscopic we also do in mild cases cystoscopic injection of some bulking agents like dexel or deflux as it was earlier called which improves the reflux without any surgery to make the valves in milder cases so all these conditions uh, are treated by us and it takes a lot of expertise to handle children with care every child's need is different we have to tailor our surgery requirements because of it and a very important thing is that we have to rule out that there are no other associated causes which lead to this vesicouretic reflux or urine going back from the bladder towards the kidney one very common cause that we see in boys is posterior urethral valves now these are the valves which block the urine passage from the bladder to the outside and they are present since birth you may not notice it in some children it is noticed at birth in some children it may be noticed even when the child is inside the mother's tummy and in some cases it they may come very late to us these children have reflux of urine going back towards the kidney and their kidneys are damaged if we don't treat them at proper time the treatment involves just putting in a scope into a child's urethra and removing that blockage at our center we have the equipment to deal or do cystoscopy even in a 1.5 kg small baby and give very good results with that too again it takes a lot of expertise and experience to handle such cases and another such condition is neurogenic bladder in which our spine is not properly developed so the nerves which are coming out from the spine are not normal our control over the bladder is not normal so we are not able to push the urine back uh, urine into the urethra outside so the urine then starts going back towards the uh, towards the kidneys some of these cases also require increasing the size of the bladder which is called as an augmentation in which we use a small part of intestine or stomach to make the bladder bigger so that the bladder also is well maintained so these kind of conditions require a specialized center with a dedicated nephrologist dedicated pediatric nephrologist pediatric urologist to handle such cases and to provide excellent results